hello, too quick for you again. Um, we're going to discuss uh, Freestyle Dash, how to install it, and what some of it does. Okay, doing a, let's say you're doing a fresh install for Freestyle Dash, and you've downloaded it. Well, as you can see here, this one is Freestyle Dash 4.8.3, version 4.8.3. Um, we want to install that on our console. Uh, I like to rename it to FSD. So it's easier for my directories and I can click and I gotta keep messing around with it, with all that stuff. So we got that and inside there is your default X and all your stuff. Now skins would go in here and you can have more than one skin in here. Um, just make sure you, you get your skin is for the proper version of your freestyle dash. Like I remember we said it was four or point four eight three. We want to get a skin for four turn into it. Um, and we stick it in the skins folder. Okay. So let's say we wanted to put Freestyle Dash on our console, and we can go anywhere you want. If you want USB, you can go anywhere you want, whatever you want. Uh, for example, let's say I wanted to put the Freestyle Dash in a folder called, you can name the folders anything you want, it's all preference. I'm going to put it in the car folder. So now I'm going to take FSD3, put it in the car folder, and there it is. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because when you adjust your launch I and I, and you want your default to be freestyle dash, as you see here, I would then change this to change this app folder and then call it car. And then this thing would know where it is. You gotta, you gotta watch your directories. You can call that for anything you want as long as you fix it on your launch I and I if you want default, if you want freestyle dash to be your default dash. So about, we can talk about that later, I'm not doing that again. Alright, so we got that. And let's say now we want to put this folder at the root of HDD. Uh, we'll launch our file as well. And I show people how to install this on a previous video, so I'm not going to do it now. File site manager. Connect. Oh, so yeah, my bad. You got to be in X6 menu to um, build FTP in there. So let me get that X6 menu here. Alright, now we're in the 6th menu. And now I can go in. Alright, so we got our... Uh, let's see, let me get rid of this right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to my HDB1. And I'm in HD1, and I want to put my new car folder in there that has my freestyle dash in there. I can just drag it down here. And then I'll go up here and hit transfer and process complete. Now, I don't want to put this in there because I've already got it in mind. This is showing me how to get it in there. So let me close this out and bring this back up here. Now, here's my X6 menu. And I would then look and, and see that I'm in and find my car folder, which you know, I know my freestyle dash is located in the apps folder. You can figure it out if you want. Uh, I'm going to run and launch freestyle dash. I'm going to discuss some of the settings here about freestyle dash. I'm going to do it quick here because my, I said my uh, capture thing here only has 10 minute limits on it. So, Alright, freestyle dash launch. The very first thing you want to do is go down here and go to settings. And you want to go to general settings. And you want to check all these boxes over here. Um, they all have a reason. Uh, I recommend you check them all. You can actually check into what they do, but that's fine. This thing here, you let you go to their website, make a password, and make a username. And you can actually make a console be linked to other consoles and, and play online um, through a link, which is part of the Freestyle Dash's uh, three settings here. Um, profile. Uh, this is where you just set if you want the your profile to automatically sign you in when you're going into Freestyle Dash. Updates, if any if they found any updates, they show up here and you can install them. There's your weather, put your you know just a code in, get some weather. Uh, next thing you are gonna do is go down to system settings. You're go um, over scan. This adjusts the TV screen so it fits your television. Adjust it so you see the whole screen. Fan settings, just adjust your fan. I recommend you stay about 75. Okay, we got that done. Now we gotta set some paths. Freestyle Dash doesn't know where your games are at, you gotta tell it where the games are at. So you go to content settings, 
Manage paths. Now, yours won't have any paths in there because you're doing a fresh install, but mine are already in here, but you'll push over and hit Y to add path. Um, try to scan it around six. And let's say we're making a path to our, our games folder. So we could leave this automatic and this automatic and go change path. And then navigate to where your games folder is. Now, my games folder is on HDD1, so I'm going there. I would go into the games folder. You gotta be in it to do it. You can't be on top of it. You gotta be in the folder to set the directory. And then I'd hit Y to set directory. Now, after I hit Y, which I'm not gonna do now because mine's already set, but after you hit Y, it would immediately bring you back to this screen. You would then hit X to save. Now, after you hit X to save, down at the bottom, it's gonna say status. It's gonna say HTTP. It's gonna download a bunch of game art for you. Don't make any more paths. Don't do anything else until it's done. So you just jam it up. Let it finish doing its thing. And then you can make other game paths. Uh, you can make game paths to, um, like on your con. Well, let me show you one. If you ever put a GOD on your console, what you'd want to do is you want to set a path here. You go to HDD1, content, and you got to go in the all zeros folder. And then you'd hit Y to set directory and X to save, because these are all where your GODs are installed, and your DLCs and stuff like that. So that's where your GOD, the GOD directory is in the all zeros folder. Okay, let me get out all this now. And as you can see, here are my paths. I've got one going to HDD1 apps, HDD1 games, HDD1 content all zero. I'm gonna show you why I did that. So I'm gonna go back, back, and see, because my homebrew, all my, my freestyle dash, my dash launch is all located in my apps folder. And I've got it directed to show up. So now see, all my stuff shows up here for my homebrew. And if we go back to games folder, there's all the games. Because now we've set directories to show freestyle dash where the games are located at. Now if you want a title update, just get on top of the... the the game you want, hit Y, manage title updates, and then you hit Y, and you download the title update. It will download it for you. That's how you can get title updates. In, in the, by the way, when you do it this way, you're getting the proper media ID for your game. And I talked about that earlier. I'm not doing it again. Other than that, um, it's about it. I do have some more time left, so let's see what else I can tell you about. Oh, how to tell a version you're running. Of freestyle dash if you already have it you go in here and if you notice on the bottom i'm on the skin version 483 so if you want a different skin than someone had made just make sure for 483 so it's a dash version of 483 my skin my version match and you're good to go um uh, let's see. the skins if you change the skin and you want to change it if you put a new one in you go down here and select the skin you want. Uh, let's see, we have to, I might go check it real quick for you. Let's do the Xenon skin. I'll do Metro, not really. After you do that, hit check the box, hit B. And I want to reboot now. And this video is going to run out any time. Got a minute left, people. Okay, here's the new skin. Okay, that's how you can change your skins. You can use other settings if you want to mess around, change the background, stuff like that. Um, but I didn't want this skin. You might want it. I got that where this stuff is. But basically, that's it. How to change your skin, how to what it does, and uh, how to set it up. So uh, other than that, um, have a good one.